Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints. It is Thursday morning, and of course, the sun is shining bright. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, here we go. Heading down to the river, and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. How are you doing? I think uh, the more people I speak with, the more I hear of people kind of being, I don't want to say at the end of their rope, but just, you know, hmm, a little bit on the stressed outside. Just uh, tired of this, what's going on. But hey, it's a gorgeous day in the neighborhood. And uh, I don't say this lightly, God is still on the throne. Um... Obviously, if you get onto uh, the net, <laughs> you will find all sorts of stuff. Um, stuff that you don't probably even need to get into or listen to. A lot of stuff on there that's going to do nothing but stress you out or freak you out or uh, scare you or <laughs> all sorts of stuff like that. And so, for myself... I thought, you know what, time to uh, look into the Word, and uh, as I do, let me just uh, give you a little bit of a aside here. I'm walking down this morning, and I see, oops, I'm falling here, some beautiful flowers here. Aren't they gorgeous? And there's just uh, three or four of them here, and they are all facing the sun as if they're looking for an answer as well so I was looking for an answer and there's been so much talk about uh, you know end of days or whatever so I opened to the book of Revelation and I love the way that God answers I love the way that God responds to his people so I turned to the book of Revelation, and I'm like, okay, God, what uh, what do you have? What's the answer for me for today? And I get to verse 8, and he says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the one who was and is and is to come. I'll tell you something. You don't get a much clearer answer than that, or a much stronger answer or a better answer as far as giving you hope and strength and uh, you know just kind of rest in your soul revelation 1 8 i am the alpha and omega the one who was and is and is to come and then i went down to verse uh, 17 and he says, kind of in the same vein, the same thinking, Alpha, Omega, he says, he talks about being the first and the last, and but he adds a line here. And this was uh, so appropriate. Verse 17, he says, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. Same wording there, Alpha and Omega. He says, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. Hmm. Not afraid of anything. Anything. Do not fear. Do not fear. He has conquered death itself, which is our greatest enemy. And he was and is and is to come he is our greatest comforter our greatest friend he is more than enough for me father i thank you so much for this truth i thank you O oh god for the peace which accompanies this i thank you for the hope 
I thank you, God, that today I know that you are walking with me and I am privileged to walk with you. And so, Father, today, as I walk into a uncertain world, I walk in confident that you are with me and that none of this is a surprise to you and you have more than enough because you are more than enough for me. Love you and love living this life with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, each one.